Alright, so what we have here is the initial loading screen. You can check out and see what exactly you're going to be playing against. You hit enter, you can move around and scroll. You also talk to your team before the match. So here we go, we have some motorized cards. You can tell by the G and the little dots indicate that they have vehicles. This is infantry. So uh, the guard is usually 32 units, infantry is much more, like double that, and 60. And this is also motorized. So you get about 21 vehicles with each person, which does cost someone actual in-game silver, which you accumulate by killing people, taking objectives, and staying in the game for an elongated period of time. Usually you have to stay in for about half the game's duration to obtain a salary on that character. And here we are in the game. You can see we have several points that I can spawn from. Probably going to go with Q1 because we have the D4 and C4 points, which will lead us to our victory. We're going to go to a D3 up here, and so on and so forth, to D2, which is I think around here, and then D1 up here. Once we take that, they can no longer attack us from that avenue, and if we take C4, they can't even take our points. Their main objective is to take O2 and O1. If they do that, they instantly win the match, and we lose. Why don't we do an instructional video on how to play? One moment, I just gotta check our connection, and we're good to go. So here we go. This is Heroes and Generals. The first thing you need to know is to get rid of your enter screen. Do your scroll. Alright, so to enter a vehicle, you hit E. Walk up to the vehicle. E. Get inside a vehicle. Use your scroll key. Scroll in on your mouse. Go to the vehicle. You want to change your seat for gun and position? Simply hit C. C will change your gun. Right click will be your fire. Forward on the key, the directional pad is to move. And to aim your turret, you use the actual oh, rotate. As you see here, if you look at the mouse cursor in the bottom of the screen, it shows you where your turret is looking and where the front of your tank is pointed. Also, it will show right there the smaller turret where your gunner is looking if you have one. It's always handy so you don't get shot. And that is the basics for entering a vehicle. And just to repeat, P is to enter your vehicle, D is to change your seat, and scroll is to get inside of your tank, which is handy so you don't get shot in the face. And here we go, into the game. We're gonna head to, I think, a C4. We can check it here. Actually, it looks like we already had that. And I'm ready to C2. Most likely they are pushing from here. You can lock onto your enemy by having a... Here we go. Simply right click to shoot the tank. Scouring away. Don't know why it's not giving me my damage marker, probably just the way. Either way. How he survived that, I don't know. Possible lag. Look up here. I don't know what's happening there. I think we have a gunner with us. Gotta make sure that we can get by. Remember to keep an eye on where your tank is pointing and where your gun is aiming. And uh, this guy's little inferior bullets will not harm us. We are at a light tank. But it's there he 
Gilded on, so we cannot be targeted by the enemy. So they are unaware that we are coming. Always trying to see where we are gunners shooting and keep the tank in that direction so he can get kills and you do not die as often. We are limited to about 21 tanks per game. Unless obvious reinforcements are sent, then you will have more. before we could get out. It's because we had our back turned to him. For some reason that tank was not taking damage. I am also downloading several things. And now I will show you how to shoot a basic weapon. And that will be the end of the tutorial for today. There we go. We will enter back into our tank. There is a short screen for deployment. Quite simple. The aim it is left, shoot it is right. You can also fire from the hip, left active. And once again, to get any vehicle, it is E. Major C to any vehicle is C. 